Hello, my name is Matt Williams. Welcome to my review of the Navage Nasal Care System. The question I hope to answer today is, is the Navage Nasal Care System right for you? I hope that sharing my personal experiences may be of some help to you in making that determination for yourself. Before I start, I would like to state the following. I have no medical background or training. We have received no compensation for the making of this video and the equipment we was purchased with our own money. The following are my opinions based upon my experience and should not be construed as a recommendation. And finally, if you like this video and or what we are doing on this channel, please click that like and subscribe button. And do not forget the notification bell if you wish to be notified of newly released videos. Your comments and questions are also appreciated. This video will cover first impressions of my Navage, using my Navage, which consists of short video clips on the Navage's website that help me, challenges I faced when using my Navage, solutions that worked for me, and accessories offered on the Navage website that interested me. Let us start with why Navage? Nasal irrigation has long been a possible solution for individuals that suffer from various sinus conditions. Many Americans suffer from hay fever, allergies, and or periodic chronic plug sinuses, which can also lead to discomfort from sinus pressure. If you're like me, in that you use a CPAP device when sleeping, you know that it is even more important to minimize sinus issues, thereby making it easier to sleep with your CPAP. Not being able to breathe through your nose reduces your choice of masks that will work for you. And if you're like me, breathing through your mouth while wearing a CPAP dries out your mouth and throat at times, even when using a CPAP with a humidifier. The challenge we face is finding a nasal irrigation system that we can commit to. If you search nasal irrigation systems, you will find products of various cost and levels of complexity. Some take more time to prepare or implement while others simply are not convenient to travel with. Navage claims that the Navage nasal care unit is the only system that gently draws saline through the nasal passages by way of suction, as opposed to pushing saline through. For the purpose of this video, I'm taking them at their word. First impressions. My Navage came packaged in the box you see here, and it was everything required to begin using it, which included the Navage Nasal Care Irrigation Unit, seen here, the nasal dock, and nose pillows, the owner's manual, which is straightforward, and 20 salt pod capsules. The unit design is well thought out though. You have a top chamber for your saline infused distilled water. I will speak to using distilled water more later in the video. The top chamber twists easily to remove and separate and thus far has proven reliable. In the top center of the saline solution chamber, chamber is your saline pod crush chamber, which flips open by depressing the release seen here. The collection chamber below also removes easily, and I've had no issues with leaking from any of the chambers. Located here is the nasal dock, which allows for easy reversal of saline flow by twisting the nasal dock as I'm doing now. There are arrows that illustrate the flow. The nasal dock removes easily for cleaning. The nasal pillows also remove easily for cleaning and or changing the nasal pillow size. On the other side is the power actuator button, which has two stages. The ergonomics of the unit are convenient and allow for left or right handed individuals to grasp the unit easily. As a final note, the unit is covered with informative stickers which provide valuable information. Again, all in all, I feel like they did their research when they designed the unit. So, using my Navage. Video clips. Before trying my Navage, I read the included instructions, a quick scan of the Navage website, especially the customer support tab, yield a host of information, including written instructions and short video clips. You may wish to look around the website for yourself. The videos I found useful were How the Navage Works, a clip lasting less than three minutes which explains how your sinuses benefit from nasal irrigation. 
the Navage Instant Demo, a quick clip lasting over two minutes that walks you through using your Navage. Troubleshooting 101, Personal Basics, a three minute video clip to help you if you're struggling using your Navage. Troubleshooting 101, Device Basics, a short clip that provides a couple of troubleshooting basics if the device is giving you problems. The first challenge I had with my Navage centers around the salt pod chamber. I inserted a pod as I'm doing now to familiarize myself with the process and I closed the lid. After watching the saline drop into the chamber, I opened the top and removed the salt pod. Then I poured in the distilled water. I then closed the lid and could not get the unit to operate. Looking at the side, you see that a salt pod must be in the crushing chamber for the unit to operate. No problem. I replaced the spent pot, uh, salt pod. That did not work. The mechanism detects if a pod has been used and it still won't work. So now I'm frustrated because I wasted a salt pod. You'll want to avoid my mistake. I began again, pouring the distilled water in first and then inserting a salt pod into the crushing chamber and closing, thereby releasing the saline into the water chamber. A couple things you should be aware of if you're using the instant demo guide, which I was. Refer to page six of the manual regarding the use of filtered or distilled water. The video shows a woman pouring water from a pitcher. I'm not gonna fill up a pitcher of purified water that I purchased only to pour what is left back into the container. The reservoir holds eight ounces of purified water plus the saline concentrate. I poured eight ounces of distilled water into a Pyrex measuring cup and I placed it in the microwave for 18 seconds, which made the water a more comfortable temperature for me. I did not have instant success that the woman in the video did. So if you don't either, don't be discouraged. In fact, after placing the nose pillows in my nose, my first time using my Navage was spent trying to draw eight ounces of water through my sinuses for 15 minutes before finally draining the top of the chamber. The next night I struggled again and the next night, I struggled again. Day four, I telephoned Navash customer service and support. The woman was very pleasant and encouraging. She informed me that it took her a week to become comfortable with using her unit. After discussing my process and confirming that I was not pressing the unit too hard in my nose, a common mistake, she decided that maybe my nose pillow size was not correct. As a courtesy, she agreed to send me out other sizes available in the nose pillows for free. They arrived a few days later, and again, I began tinkering around with my unit, trying the different sizes. I do have sinus problems, which no doubt added to the learning curve. Eventually, I settled upon a size that is not the standard size sent with the unit. And if you find yourself struggling, you may wish to try different sizes yourself. I tried other techniques that proved helpful as well. And these were, always check to make certain that you're not exerting too much pressure when inserting the nasal pillows into your nose. Try changing the angle of your head or the unit slightly. The goal is to make certain that the nasal pillows are not, or openings are not being blocked, thereby preventing the flow of the saline solution. Reversing the direction of the flow, I found that drawing the saline through one nostril may work one evening, but the following evening, I had better success reversing the flow. Depressing the button to the first stage, which is suction only, and once I feel suction building up, then depressing the button completely to allow the fluid to flow through your sinuses. After some trial and error, I settled into a routine that typically takes between a minute to a minute and a half to irrigate my sinuses, which is much better than taking 15 minutes for the process. The last inconvenience I experienced is discussed on page seven of the manual, but I did not see it in any of the videos I reviewed, and that is saline leaking out of your nose at a later time. Yes, you might be in the middle of watching TV, or in my case, attempting to fall asleep with my CPAP mask on when a pocket of saline trapped in your sinuses lets loose. You may experience several pockets of saline releasing after using your Navage. Again, I'm not an expert, but I suspect this means that the tissue in my nasal cavity is indeed contracting and becoming less swollen. 
to reduce inconvenience to me, I now use my device at least 45 minutes in advance of going to bed and have a tissue handy to catch any release of saline. As mentioned before, I use distilled water for my Navage and for my CPAP. Note that the US FDA advises using filtered, distilled, or previously boiled water for nasal irrigation. My respiratory therapist and CPAP manufacturer also recommend distilled water, so I use a fair amount of distilled water. You may have found, as I have, that distilled water is not easy to come by in some countries when traveling, which forced me to use less desirable water substitutes when I was in those countries. Unfortunately, they left mineral deposits in my equipment. I recently discovered an ion filter that claims to filter water to CPAP grade. Look for my future review on this product. So, do I personally see value in nasal irrigation? Absolutely. I breathe easier at night and I seem to suffer from less sinus pressure discomfort. Do I feel the Navage is right for me? Yes, because once I learned it and set my routine to it, it is an easy system for me, which of course will translate into a willingness to use it. I also prefer it to other methods I've tried for comfort. If you travel, Navage has a travel bag that makes it easy to travel with and a countertop caddy that makes storage in my bathroom convenient after using it when I'm at home. Another note here regarding their customer service. Navage offered a hard case and a soft leather-like bag at the time I searched their website. The following week when I logged in to purchase the hard shell case, I could no longer find it. I called their customer service and was again greeted with a cheerful representative that informed me they discontinued the case. I was disappointed because I believe the hard case to offer more protection to my Navage when stuffing it into a suitcase with all my other items. The representative provided a one-time $10 discount coupon to apply toward my next purchase. She also looked up the hard case measurements so I could research for a case similar in size. I will order a hard case of similar size when I locate one, but in the meantime, I ordered their soft case. Look for the follow-up notes below once I've had the opportunity to try it. Bottom line, every experience I've had with customer service at Navage was favorable. And a final note, Navage offers a new eucalyptus salt pad, which I unfortunately was not able to try before the release of this video. Check back in the information below for follow-up comments. That concludes my discussion of the Navage nasal irrigation system. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Comments are always welcomed and appreciated. I hope you return for future reviews. Click the notification button if you wish to be notified of their release. And always, thank you for watching. Was that better?